Look at this rock. It is covered in strange dark spots, almost like freckles scattered across its surface. Patterns like this are rarely random. It is going to offer us so many different things to study and find out so many different things. It really does offer us a unique insight into the history of the Red Planet. On Earth, they almost always trace back to life bacteria, microbial colonies, or the mineral traces left behind by living organisms. But this rock did not come from Earth. It came from Mars. NASA's Perseverance rover discovered it, and mission scientists recently reported that it may represent the strongest evidence so far consistent with ancient life on Mars. If confirmed, this finding would mark one of the most significant moments in the history of planetary exploration. The story begins in Jezero Crater, a massive impact basin chosen precisely because it once held a lake. Billions of years ago, rivers flowed through this crater, carrying clay, minerals, and nutrients, everything life would have needed to thrive. These rivers formed a delta where sediments settled and hardened, preserving the history of Mars's watery past. Today, Jezero is bone dry, its channels long vanished, but the record of its past remains carved into stone. When NASA sent Perseverance there in 2021, its mission was simple, yet monumental, to search for signs of ancient life. The rover carries one of the most advanced suites of instruments ever sent to another planet. Tools capable of identifying minerals, detecting organic compounds, and drilling core samples to be brought back to Earth one day. In June of the following year, while exploring a dried up river channel, Perseverance spotted something unusual, a slab of rock that looked different from the rest. Its surface was dotted with tiny dark spots and ring-shaped markings. To most observers, it might have looked like an ordinary weathered stone. To NASA's team of geologists, however, it looked hauntingly familiar. They nicknamed the markings leopard spots and poppy seeds. On Earth, similar patterns are often found in sediments that once hosted microbial activity. Over time, bacteria can leave mineral imprints or pockets of organic material that fossilize as mud turns to stone. These traces become natural fingerprints of past life. Adam Steltzner, Perseverance's chief engineer, described the moment succinctly, if we saw this on Earth, we'd say it was done by biology, but this is Mars, and that makes all the difference. Excitement spread through NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. If those markings truly reflected biological processes, it would be a landmark discovery. Perseverance extended its robotic arm, activated its drill, and extracted a core sample from the rock. That small cylinder of stone was sealed inside an airtight titanium tube and named Sapphire Canyon. After drilling, Perseverance captured an image beside the hole. Dust scattered across its wheels, the core sealed safely within. It was a quiet, historic moment. A robotic explorer preserving something that might once have been alive. Back on Earth, scientists began analyzing the rover's data. Using two key instruments, Pixel, which identifies elements, and Sherlock, which uses lasers to detect organic molecules, they examined every detail. The results were astonishing. The mudstone contained complex carbon-based molecules, the fundamental building blocks of life. The darker regions were rich in iron, sulfur, and phosphorus, along with two rare minerals, vivianite and grigite. On Earth, these minerals are often found in environments where organic matter accumulates under low oxygen conditions. They can form in sediments influenced by microbial processes. Researchers spent a year testing every possible non-biological explanation. Could heat have created these reactions? Unlikely, vivinite breaks down at high temperatures, and the rock showed no signs of heating. Could acidic water have done it? No. The rock still contained olivine, a mineral that would have been destroyed by acid. Could purely chemical reactions explain the patterns? Possibly, but the mineral arrangement was too specific and closely matched known biosignature structures on Earth. After ruling out geological and chemical alternatives, the mission scientists concluded that ancient microbial activity remained the most parsimonious explanation for what Perseverance observed. Still, they stressed caution. History has shown that Mars can be deceptive. 
In 1976, NASA's Viking landers performed the first life detection experiments on the planet. When nutrients were added to Martian soil, the samples released gas, just as microbes might. For a moment, it seemed life had been found. But later, analysis revealed that reactive salts in the soil, not living organisms, had produced the gas. The excitement gave way to scientific restraint. Today, NASA follows a formal framework called the Confidence of Life Detection Scale, which ranks discoveries from level 1, possible biosignature detected, to level 7, confirmed life. Perseverance's finding currently sits somewhere in the middle of that range, and NASA has not assigned it a public level. To move higher, scientists must study the rock directly, which means bringing it home. That goal defines one of the most ambitious space missions ever conceived. Mars Sample Return. The plan involves sending a new lander to collect the sealed tubes Perseverance has stored. A small rocket, the first ever launched from another planet, would carry them into Martian orbit. There, a European Space Agency orbiter would capture the container and return it to Earth. If successful, samples could arrive in the 2030S, though the mission remains subject to budget and schedule constraints. Once the samples are in laboratories on Earth, scientists will apply far more sophisticated instruments than any rover could carry. They will look for microscopic textures, isotopic patterns, and multiple independent biosignatures that together can confirm or refute biological origin. If these samples confirm life, it would reshape humanity's understanding of the universe. It would show that biology is not unique to Earth, but a recurring outcome wherever conditions allow. Every planet or moon with water and energy would become a potential habitat, and the night sky would take on a new meaning. Not empty, but alive with possibility. Such a discovery would also serve as a warning. Mars was once warm, wet, and perhaps alive. Today, it is a frozen desert. Something happened. Perhaps its atmosphere thinned or solar radiation stripped it away and the planet became sterile. If life once existed there, Mars reminds us how fragile habitability can be. At the same time, the possibility that life emerged twice in one solar system offers hope. It suggests that life might not be rare, but instead woven into the chemistry of the cosmos. The same natural processes that created life in Earth's ancient oceans may have unfolded in Martian lakes as well. As Adam Steltzner remarked, If we find evidence of life elsewhere, it changes how we think about being alive. It would alter philosophy, religion, and perspective, showing humanity not as the center of the universe, but as one part of a vast living network that stretches between the stars. For centuries, humans believed Earth was the center of everything. Then we learned it was one planet among many. Each revelation humbled us. The discovery of life beyond Earth would be the most humbling of all. It would show that life does not belong solely to this world. It belongs to the cosmos. As Arthur C. Clarke wrote, Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Now, because of one spotted rock on a distant red planet, that question no longer feels abstract. Somewhere in Jezero Crater, a small stone lies half buried in dust, carrying the record of a world that might once have lived. A silent message across time, suggesting that life may not be unique to Earth.